hello friend welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to configure autofs on centos 7 autofs is an auto mounter utility which mounts the nfs share automatically when someone on the client machine access any file or directory on nfs share it only mounted the NFS share when the client accessed it and will automatically unmounted it after some time if we, uh, if the system is in ideal mode for a specific period of time. By default, the timeout value on uh, this AutoFS is 5 minutes but you can uh, you can change as per your need and by configuring AutoFS we can save the system resources because suppose the client machine is having multiple NFS share entry in FSTEP file then system resource will be more utilized to mount those entry during boot so might be the boot time may little bit increase but by using AutoFS it only mounts the NFS share which is required or accessed by the user when, when in need and will automatically unmount after a specific uh, period of time uh, I am mentioning here the timeout value if we put the system uh, in ideal mode so let's start how we can install and configure the auto fs on centos 7 this is my centos 7 system and it's a client i have uh, created i have made this uh, system as a nfs client and this system is having a minimal installation so let's install for some basic packages all right i already made an entry in host file so this is my nfs server which is server.example.com having IP address 40 and this is my client machine client.example.com and having the IP address 41 so let's install the AutoFS on this machine and also one package Now let's start the service. Alright, let's disable the SC Linux on this machine first. And let's, I'm going to disable the firewall as well. And 
let's restart this machine to make those changes in effect let's wait for some time to come up this machine up all right so our machine is up now sc minus is disabled firewall d is disabled as well now let's check the nfs share that this client is able to access the nfs share or not by running command show mount hyphen e and the ip address of nfs server as you can see that we are able to access the nfs share a new nfs on the server all right the next thing is we need to define the we need to define the let's define the domain name in idmap.com Taking here domain name as example.com. Save this file. Alright. Now, the next thing is the main configuration file for AutoFS is uh, auto.master. So, let's open this file. This is the main configuration file. Now, as I said earlier, the default timeout for AutoFS is, uh, is around 5 minutes, that is 300 seconds, but we can change as per our need. So let's suppose uh, we change the timeout value to 2 minutes or you can say the 120 second for this. Let's make an entry here. AutoFS and then etc slash auto dot nfs this is the file where we going to define the nfs share the next is the timeout value i'm giving here 120 minutes or sorry uh, 120 second or two minutes so save this file now create file auto.nfs and open it and make an entry of the nfs share here file system type nfs4 now here this nfs share is our uh, mount point these are the mount options and this is the NFS share location. Save this file. And let's restart the AutoFS service. And one more thing we need to be careful here. Suppose if you are having an entry of nfs share in etcfs tab or you can i can say you can say that if there is an, a manual entry in fs tab you need to remove that entry from that file first because 
now the auto fs will take care of mounting and unmounting of nfs share automatically so there is no need to make an manual entry of nfs share in etc fs tag file so if there is any if you have made an, any entry in fs tag file just remove that entry now as we check the fs tag file it doesn't have any entry manual entry for nfs share now let's check now as you can see see there is no nfs share mounted here to access the nfs share run in this way you can access the nfs share now if you check with command as you can see by through auto fs the nfs share is automatically mounted here now i can access the nfs share and can create files here suppose i am creating a directory here like this as you can see i am able to create directory and even i am able to create file as well like this so i am able to i am able to write the data on nfs share so in this way you can configure and install the auto fs option on nf on cento 7 now the next thing is as you can see here the nfs share is mounted here if you put this system ideal for two minutes then it automatically the auto fs will automatically unmount this nfs share from this system and before checking that thing let's make an entry for logs in etc sysconfig auto fs file sysconfig auto fs file let's open it with vm vim and here in capital letter right logging debug and save this file and restart the auto fs service now the nfs share in mount point is removed here let's again access the nfs share now showing here you can check in and this way as well now let's put the system ideal and check the logs let's create a duplicate say session here let's wait for two minutes and we'll check whether our mount point is unmounted or not all right as you can see see here in logs expiring path auto fs nfs share and unmount path auto fs nfs share like this so let's check 
so the nfs share is unmounted by auto fs because our system is in ideal state for more than two minutes so let's again access the mount point sorry the nfs share now again the nfs share is available here so in this way you can configure installed and configure auto fs on centos 7 that's all in this video if you like this video then please like and subscribe my channel thanks and have a good day